Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. In this video, I'll share, is your weight gain due to your diet? Eliminating foods is easy. Cutting calories, not foods. And some calorie cutting tips. Most people associate weight gain with diet and activity level. But some people gain weight for other reasons. Your DNA and hormone imbalances can increase body fat or water retention. Obese parents are producing obese children. Being obese is being programmed into their DNA. There are prescription drugs that increase body fat and water retention. In these situations, cutting calories may have no effect. You can reduce carbs, eliminate gluten and anti-nutrients, and still gain weight. If your weight gain is due to your diet, you need to cut calories. Because a poor diet and excess weight increases the risk of serious chronic diseases. The fad diet solution is eliminating foods. Eliminating foods is easier than educating people why some foods may be harmful or unhealthy. For example, which is worse, oxalate or 500 unnecessary calories? For people at risk of having kidney stones, a low oxalate diet makes sense. About 10% of the population will have a kidney stone requiring medical treatment. Why should the other 90% eat a low oxalate diet? Because the science reveals needle-sharp oxalate crystals damage and destroy cells and organs. Ignore the science that the body replaces billions of damaged and old cells daily. Also, ignore the science that research using lab animals is rarely duplicated in people. Low oxalate diets ban potatoes, even though most of the oxalate is in the skin that is usually removed. Potatoes are also eliminated because they are high carb and carbs equal obesity, diabetes, and more. For many fat diets, high carbs is more important than high calories. Ignore the fat the cooking method can concentrate carbs and add high calorie fat. In most cases, there's no harm eliminating foods that can cause symptoms or disease. There are many reasons for eliminating foods, like allergies, to intolerance, to side effects from chemical additives. But eliminating whole food groups can cause nutrient deficiencies. Excess calories is the usual cause of excess weight. Most fad diets recommend eliminating highly processed foods, which is good advice but they also eliminate many low-calorie plant foods, substituting high-calorie plant foods and high-calorie animal foods. The goal when cutting excess calories is obtaining all essential nutrients from lower-calorie foods and not feel hungry. Avocados are low-carb, but four ounces has seven times the calories in four ounces of cooked spinach. And both are banned on low oxalate diets. Substituting almond and coconut flour cuts carbs, but not calories. You cannot cut calories by replacing a 100 calorie wheat flour tortilla with a 170 calorie almond flour tortilla. The benefit of low-carb foods reducing blood sugar spikes is offset when excess calories becomes body fat. An easy way to cut calories is by reducing high-calorie processed foods. Most processed foods are high in added fats and refined carbs. The difference between a serving of cookies and a bag of cookies is 1,600 calories. 
No one needs an 1100 calorie dessert, even if shared. Added sugar turns zero calorie coffee into 250 calorie beverages. And high calorie sugar water. With added sugar, you get sugar. Sugar from natural sources provide fiber, protein, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. More cheese and meat equals more calories. And you know what happens to excess calories. Businesses producing and selling high-calorie, highly processed foods are not concerned about your health. They're concerned about profits and happy investors. It's not their problem if your diet causes chronic diseases or kills you. You may feel better cutting carbs and anti-nutrients from your diet. But you're fighting a losing battle if your diet is nutrient deficient or provides the same or more calories. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.